हेलो एवरीवन तो यू आर हैविंग इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे इंग्लिश सी बी क्लास टुडे बट आई वुड लाइक टू टेक योर ग्रामर क्लास एंड आई ऑलरेडी सेंड द नोट्स ऑन इंटरोगेटिव प्रनाउन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास बट आई डिडेंट एक्सप्लेन द चैप्टर सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस चैप्टर टूडे सो टूडे टॉपिक इज इंटरोगेटिव प्रनाउन pronouns used to ask questions are called interrogative pronouns which what who whom whose these all wh words are interrogative pronouns wh words they are used to ask questions an interrogative mark that means question mark is put at the end of such sentences for example who is your favorite singer after completing this sentence we have to put a question mark because the wh word is placed at at the first and it is wh these words are interrogative pronouns so you have to put an interrogative mark at the last when the interrogative pronouns uh, wh words like who which what etc are used in asking indirect question at that time we never put question mark at the la uh, at last we have to put full stop only i'm making it clear suppose who is your favorite singer so here this is we are getting a direct question isn't it so here after completing this sentence we are putting question mark but i asked who was speaking so in this above sentence wh word is not placed at the first so in this sentence it is an indirect question so that's why full stop is being put at the last in spite of question mark so when it is a direct question at that time we put question mark at the last and when it is indirect question and at that time we never put question mark at the last fine for example i am giving you a few example who is your favorite singer what has happened to you which of them is at fault so these all wh words are interrogative pronoun so now i am going to explain this when to use who whom we use who and whom when we ask question about people when we ask question about animals and objects at that time we use which wh word which when we ask questions about possession at that time we use whose whose shirt is this so at that time we write whose when we ask questions about places at that time we use where when uh, we ask questions about time when when will you meet me that means i am asking time so at, that's that's why when is used when we ask question about reason that at that time we use why why are you so late when we ask question about things at that time we write what and when we ask question about manner how how is your handwriting so this all things i had given in the assignment please read it carefully now this the word there there is a, a twist again between that interrogative pronoun and interrogative adjective as in the previous class as a, in the demonstrative pronouns also we learnt like that as a demonstrative pronoun and demonstrative adjective so uh, same here also we will get interrogative pronoun as well as interrogative adjective the words what 
which and whose can be used as interrogative pronoun as well as interrogative adjective. Now, I am giving you a few example. Which is your desk? Okay, which is your desk? And the next sentence I am telling, which desk is yours? There is a diff There is a difference between these two sentences. In the first sentence, which is your desk, after this WH word, is, helping verb is placed. But in the second sentence, which desk is your, after this WH word, noun is placed. So, when WH, WH words is used with verb, it is, it is interrogative pronoun and when after WH word noun is placed, at that time it is interrogative adjective. It's very easy to identify. You have to see after that WH word, either it is a noun or verb. If it is verb, then it must be interrogative pronoun or if it is a noun, it must be interrogative adjective. I am giving few examples to make it more clear. Whose is this book? <clears throat> whose is this book? And the next sentence, whose book is this? Same thing, whose after whose is is placed. So in that sentence, WH is used as interrogative pronoun. And in the next sentence, w, uh, whose book after whose book, that means it is a noun. So it is, is this WH word is used an interrogative adjective. So till here for today, thank you.